guys, welcome to part two. Um, so I'm going to show you now how to layer up the straw and the mycelium um, and grow tasty oyster mushrooms. So if you've got a bucket, I'm just using a plant pot and um, make some holes in it here. And this is where the mycelium is going to head to uh, when you take the tape off in about two or three weeks. The air will come in and the mycelium will grow towards that. So this is just medical micropore tape. Um, it's good enough to stop contamination really, so it still needs air through there. And if you put them in opposite directions, so one this way, one this way, it should be enough to keep out most sort of moulds, um, bacteria, and contaminants and stuff that you don't want growing in your mushrooms. So the most common mould you're going to get in here is trichoderma, which is the green mould. Um, but oysters are pretty resilient, they will generally overtake the mould and eat it. So just go around and cover up all of your holes like this and the bottom, if obviously you're using a plant pot. <laughs> so we have all of the holes taped at the bottom and all of the air holes taped for now. Um, I've got my straw that's already been pasteurised. I have some sloppy coffee. I've drained some out. Some sloppy coffee that I've been saving. So this is just um, filter coffee. And I just ch chuck it in the freezer in a Tupperware and then defrost it when I've got a full lot. So the idea is to mix this and this together and then introduce the cardboard spawn that you made a couple of weeks ago. So first of all, I'm gonna mix it in something else just to make sure everything's evenly mixed and make sure you've got no clumps in there. So just gonna... If you leave big clumps, then you're more likely to get mouldy. Started to run through. So I just put this. And the straw you're working with as well, you want it to be chopped up quite fine. You see here, you don't want like the big chunky stuff. And if that's all you can get, just cut it up uh, or strim it. Just make sure it's nice and fine. So get your coffee, stick that in. And again, we're just mixing this right through. Make sure it's all really well mixed. Again, you don't want big chunks of straw and you don't want big chunks of coffee. Make sure you get right down to the bottom. And then when it comes to layering it up in here, you're literally just going to grab a couple of handfuls, chuck it in. Give a little shake, make the air bubbles out. And then get some of this. It doesn't matter, just tear him up and put a few bits throughout. So I'm just sort of putting a few layers in with this. And then another layer of straw and coffee. So obviously the more cardboard you put in one pot, the quicker it's going to take over and start fruiting. I mean, once these have grown, you can just take stem cuts from the ones that grow and then just repeat the same process. Um, yeah. And that's it. Cover it up with a lid. Keep it somewhere warm and dark um, for a couple of weeks and then come and check on it. I think. So, yeah, that's it really. Um, good luck growing mushrooms. Let me know how it goes. And <laughs> goodbye.